So, what's the tea with rice water challenge? You see what I did there? You like that? Welcome back to my channel. It's I Heart Romy. So today's video is that infamous rice water challenge. Just use imagination. Something's gonna be here. So you know, a lot of people have done the seven-day challenge. A lot of people, and most of them are completely natural. I am natural as well, but my hair is processed and colored, and I was like, I don't see anyone doing that. So like, you know what, let me go give it, a, give it a try. I have done a lot of research, and I was like, if something goes bad, I was willing to sacrifice an inch. I can, I can cut an inch of my hair, because I have a lot of hair. Not, not this hair, it's my birthday hair still. But I have a lot of inch, a lot of hair, so I was like, it wouldn't be as be that bad. I did the weekly challenge, so I did it four times a month. I did not do the seven day challenge because uh, that's too much protein and my hair is, my hair follicles, I guess, is kind of fine in certain areas, so I didn't want to go bald. I have to just experiment with my hair. My hair is one of those things where if something works, don't mess it up. So I was like, you know what, let me do this. And so once, for four weeks and you guys are gonna see um, the stuff I went through and I had to change some products along the way because it started becoming too much protein on my hair so I had to start moisturizing so when you're doing this make sure you do your research and know your hair like I have a lot of hair in my head like I said I have a full head of hair so I know my hair will be able to take what damage and bounce back you know, but I wasn't trying to do too much because my hair is also a little bit brittle because it's colored. But when you're doing this, make sure you do your research. It can work, but it can also grow and get brittle. Your hair can get brittle and very dry. And you could, you know, you could hydrate it, but sometimes it take it shrinks up your hair a little bit more. Then you go watch my results. You'll see. Go ahead. Go go check it. Bye for now. Oh, and as always, please subscribe and like this video. Yay! Okay, go watch now. Go watch it. Continue watching. Continue watching. All right, so this is the ingredients and the procedure that I followed to make the um, rice water. And I'm also going to put it in the description below. So stay tuned. So this is what it looks like. This concoction been sitting for a total of 24 hours. Um, first the water was by itself and then I put the orange, the water was sitting for like 12 hours and then I put the orange peels and then I put some peppermint oil and it's been sitting there for 24 hours. So we're gonna see if this actually works. I'm probably only gonna use it twice a month cause I don't have time for my hair to be falling off. I'm gonna take this and pour it into this and then go ahead and spray my hair. I'm gonna hop into this video. So before I did this challenge, my hair was barely touching the waist length. Um, I actually chopped it before, clipped it like before I did this. So I wanted to see if I can go back to it fully sitting the waist length. So I already washed my hair prior to this video. Um, so I just started going in and just section off my hair and just started applying the rice water to the roots and to the hair ends. After I sprayed it in the four sections, well, I think it's three sections there. I just clipped it up and then I'm gonna apply some more rice water and just let it sit on my hair for like a good 15 um, seconds before I rinse it out. So that sat in my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes. I applied my sheer moisture conditioner from the 
Jamaican um, black castor oil line. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that in there and just let it sit for another 15 and then just rinse it out. All right, so now I'm gonna add some oil just to keep the moisture in. So this is argan oil. And then I added my cream of nature um, hair milk that I use just to add some extra moisture. And I'm just gonna rub that in there and I'm just gonna leave it. Result after using the rice water for the first week. Um, as you guys remember, I'm doing the weekly challenge, so I'm doing it once a week. So not much of a difference there, but yeah, I still have like three more weeks to go, so. Repeated the same steps, just keep spraying my scalp and just rub it in there with the rice water. By now, the this actually started to stink y'all it smells so bad i don't know why it seemed like i only was focusing on this one section but i promise you i actually eventually moved on from this section and spared my whole head i forgot to tell you before i put the rice water in my hair my hair's already washed so i took after I put the rice water in, I had, this time was different. I had my deep conditioner that I applied to my hair after the rice water. So I put that on my roots and my hair ends and just like let that sit on my hair. Some more after putting the rice water in for five minutes. So I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for an additional 15 minutes and then, then I wait. Y'all, this is the moment, exact moment I thought I actually effed up my hair because for some reason, my hair after walking out the shower, it sh sh um, shrunk up further up than it usually do. And I honestly was stressed because that was different to me. I'm not used to my hair shrinking up so fast. So I literally spent th this week going into depression because I thought I really messed up my hair. Well, after that little depression phase I went through, like it was hardcore. I honestly thought I messed up my hair, but it's a good thing I only do it once a week. So my hair did grow and it was drier, a lot drier. So I decided to swap out my Jamaican castor oil um, from Sheer Moisture line I was using and swap it out for the hydrating one because I realized I was giving myself a protein overload so I needed more moisture. I should listen to my sister because she said it the first time but whatever. <sighs> you live and you learn. So. Always, I leave the mask in, well, the deep conditioner in for like about 15 minutes. And I was actually more happier with the results. My hair was more hydrated and moisturized. And I was ready to go into this week. Okay? I was ready. Y'all can see that growth. You see that growth? It's actually now showing that it actually does the job. The only problem is my hair ends have gotten really brittle so i'm probably gonna have to clip some of that growth off anyway but as you can see it's a huge difference this is like i only use rice water three times and it's already a drastic difference it's already um surpassed my normal month growth 
Also, y'all already know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and section this hair off. Apply that bad boy, that funky drained water. Y'all, this smells so terrible. It smells so bad. Even after putting that orange peel in and all that stuff to make it smell good, it smells so awful, y'all. Like, it's gross. It, it's gross, okay? The scent is so potent. It's so, oh my God. I, I, oh, thank God it's like final week. Like, thank God it's the final week. So I so I basically followed the same um, pattern I just started doing in the last couple two weeks. So I added the hydration mask, and then I also added um, my growth oil from Maine, and then I also added some leave-in conditioner this time around, just to help it moisture, keep that moisture in. Because after this last step, I was going to um, put my hair into a protective style. So I just want to make sure it's you know, hydrate and all that stuff before I um, get my hair done. All right, guys, so this is a week's four results. This is the last week, final week. And y'all might not see the difference yet until I show the com um, the comparison before and after. But look at this. Analyze this. Okay, analyze this video here. Look at where I'm pulling. Look at the size of my hair. This is only four times using um, rice water, y'all. Granted, I mean, I still got a... Um, clip my ends a little bit but y'all look at it i'm still surprised that it grew so much after using it four times it already surpassed my monthly growth so y'all keep looking at this video and i'm going to show you the comparison in a second Hey guys, so in this video clip, in this video clip, you guys will be able to see um, this. I try to do my best of my abilities to do a comparison, but on the right hand side, you'll see that it reached closer to an inch growth. My usual growth is half an inch, and I use granted I use this four times that month. So yeah, it does work, but it can dry out your hair drastically. So I would do it again, maybe once a month, and maybe at one month I'll probably do the four, the weekly challenge. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and like.